Hi guys, welcome back to the PageFly video tutorial series. In today's video, you will learn about margin and padding and when you should use them in PageFly. So firstly, let's go ahead to the PageFly page editor. Here I'm using a PageFly template named Logan. First, we will learn about margin. The margin in PageFly is the space outside of your element, that pushes the other elements around it, further away when increased. So when should you use margin? You will use margin, when you want to create spacing, between two elements, in the same container. To create space between the paragraph and heading, I will use margin. Margin is also visualized in the editor, you can drag dots to adjust the spacing of each element. The orange dot will be used to edit margin. Here I have two columns inside a row. Create space between these columns, I will choose the left column, and adjust its right margin. Similarly you also adjust the bottom margin of this row, to create space between it and the row below, that is in the same section with this row. It's about the margin. Now we will learn about padding. The padding is the space, on the inside of the border of your element, that when increased pushes the element itself further in. So when should you use padding? You will use padding, when you want to increase inner spacing, between elements, on the border of the container, of elements. For example, to make the space between the border of this column, with the content inside it. Let's add padding pixel here. You should adjust the padding of the column, instead of changing the padding of each element. So when you add another element, it will automatically have a space with a border and you don't have to adjust the padding of the new element anymore. You also can drag dots to adjust the padding of each element. The green dot will be used to adjust padding. Here is the way I change the padding of the column by dragging the green dots. You can also use padding to increase the height of a section. With this section, when I change the padding top and bottom, you can see it looks higher. An important note for you, that some padding and margin you use on all devices, are unnecessary on mobile view. So although the PageFly mobile page is responsive, in some cases, you have to adjust manually padding or margin on mobile devices. Let me make it clear by showing you some examples. I have a section here, that is set 200 pixels to top and bottom padding on all devices. And now I switch to mobile view. You can see the section doesn't show fully. It's because on mobile the padding of the section is set too large. So if you adjust the paddings, it will looks better. Another example, on all devices. I will add a button here. And add a left margin to it. Go ahead and switch to mobile view, the button disappears. But if you remove the margin you set on all devices, the button will be right here on the page editor. And remember that, the change you do with margin and padding, or other features in the styling tab, on mobile, will not affect other devices. This is the end of the video tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel to get more new video tutorials. These are other videos on our channel you also may need. Thanks for watching.